For hydroboration oxidation of alkynes, you'll need Ca2BH or a bulky boron compound and then H2O2 and NaOH. So it'll be syn addition and anti Markovnikov addition. So we have our alkyne and we have um, the reagent uh, Ca2BH. And then what happens is a uh, syn addition occurs, right? So this um, has a syn addition with hydrogen and then gets rid of the triple bond and uh, a double bond is left over. And then you have the syn addition of both the H and the B Ca2. So what the H2O2 does is it just gets rid of this part, right? It gets rid of the B Ca2. Then what the NaOH does is the Na doesn't matter, but the OH will attach right there. So H2O2 gets rid of this, and then OH replaces it. And that's what we get. So um, we get a OH right there. But finally, what ends up happening is um, this is called this right here is called an enol. Um, and that's because it's a alcohol, right, OH group, next to a double bond. So this entire thing is called enol. However, there is a more stable form called the keto form. And the keto can be an aldehyde or a ketone as it uh, says right here, keto, ketone, and, but the thing is it can also be an aldehyde, as shown right here. So what ends up happening is the OH, right, the OH right here can take away a proton, and that will form a double bond right here, forming a uh, negative charge right here, and that negative charge can take away a proton from a water, and then form this compound right here. So it ends up changing um, to this form, and as you see, the equ in equilibrium, um, this is actually favored. So the keto form is favored. So that means that this will actually be your product. So know that both of these form, but this one's preferred and in greater quantities. So another form, um, so if we, for this one, it was a terminal alkyne. For this one, we'll do a internal alkyne. So we have the same compound. This means the same thing, Ca2BH. And so what happens is a syn addition, right? Syn addition for B, Ca2, and H. And then we have H2O2, get rid of B, Ca2, and then OH um, forms the OH right there. And once again, this is the um, enol form, right? Because it's an alcohol next to a double bond. And then finally, the more stable form is the keto form. And in this case, it is a ketone, right? Because both of these are CH3s. In this form, uh, it's still called a keto form, but keto uh, form can also mean that it can be an aldehyde. In this case, it is aldehyde because it's, um, it's a carbon right here, hydrogen right there, and oxygen. In this case, it's oxygen and then two carbons. So this one will be preferred, but know that two um, products form. It's just that this one is in greater quantities and that it's, this one's preferred because it's more stable. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.